Hey guys, welcome to another episode. As I promised, today we are going to deal with capacitive touch sensor. But in previous episode I showed you how to build it from scratch. Now we are going to deal with a dedicated module. And this in front of you it's code that we are going to use and it's uh, very simple. Uh, so uh, we are dealing uh, with uh, two pins, D8 and D2. I'm using D8 as input and D2 as output. As you uh, can uh, see, uh, D8 is going to uh, read a signal from uh, our module. And at the beginning, I'm going to write low to D2. On D2, I'm going to connect a LED diode with 330 ohms resistor. And then in void loop, we are going to uh, check state on D8. If it's low, we are going to write low to D2. Effectively, we are uh, going to turn off uh, our LED diode. But if we read high from our sensor, we are going to write high to D2. Effectively, we are going to turn on our LED diet. And that is literally everything on the code part that you have to know. And now we are going to assemble this circuit. As you can see for this episode, we are going to use ESP8266 microcontroller, uh, some wires, I'm going to use 330 uh, ohms resistor, uh, one green uh, LED diode, and I'm going to use this sensor. Uh, this sensor has uh, three pins, uh, so uh, first pin is for the ground, second it's for 5 volts, and third one uh, is for the signal. So when we uh, touch this uh, target space we are going to get high on our signal pin and now i am going to connect this sensor to my breadboard i am going to connect this led diode with 330 ohms resistor like this As I said, we are going to connect this to pin D2 on ESP32 microcontroller. Sorry, ESP8266. Here is D2. Now I'm going to connect ground. It's second pin. another side of this LED diode and now I'm going to connect sensor so first it's ground first pin I'm going to connect it from the back side all right second pin it's for 5 volts and I'm going to take 5 volts directly from microcontroller we have some lights and third pin it's signal pin and I used the 8 all right uh, because this code is already uploaded now when I uh, touch this sensor we should see green light all right it doesn't matter from which side you are touching it it works and from this point on uh, it depends actually what you prefer you can build it from scratch or you could buy a dedicated sensor like this one so guys that's all for this episode i hope that you learned something new so please like subscribe and see ya